Thursday of Holy Week has long been one of my all-time favorite services. And that's because so much happens of major spiritual importance. First, the title. It's called Maundy Thursday. And, and there's nothing secretive about that word. A Maundy is simply an old English word for commandment. And that's because it was on Thursday that Jesus said to his disciples, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. But just before that happened, Jesus did what I think is one of his more important signs. He washed the feet of the disciples. Now, that's a, a lot more than we would immediately understand. Remember, the disciples walked to that house on dirt roads. Dirt roads that were full of animals that did the things animals do as they walk along. And then as the animals walked along, they, they, they churned all that up into a smelly mud. And then the disciples came behind walking in open-toed sandals. You can imagine how disgusting it was when Jesus knelt before them to wash their feet. Now, that, that task w would normally have been done by the lowest slave or servant in the household. But Jesus explains he's doing this to demonstrate that he came to serve, not to rule in the normal way, and that we are to seek to serve in similar ways. Then, on that Thursday, Jesus offered his last supper, during which Judas leaves to contact the Roman authorities. After supper, Jesus and a few disciples go to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray, and it's there. Judas betrays Jesus by identifying him to the Roman authorities by giving him a kiss. Now, many churches end their service by focusing on how the disciples must have felt at that moment. Utter despair, abandonment, a complete loss of hope. You see, when the, when the Romans arrested you, you were not likely to ever come back. Now, some of those churches do what we call stripping the altar. They remove or cover in black all signs of Jesus as our Messiah, as our hope. In fact, some churches will go outside and cover the crosses outside the building in some kind of black cloth. It can be a deeply meaningful time to reflect on our lives, our world, without Jesus. The lights are gradually turned down until the church is completely black. People are invited to stay and pray as long as they want to. Powerful. I've posted other videos describing the days in Holy Week. Please like our page and, and message us so we can make sure you have those links. Blessing. Please join us at St. Joseph's for our Maundy Thursday service with foot washing and stripping of the altar at 7 p.m. You are also invited to join us for our Good Friday services at noon or 7 p.m. Then come to our Easter Sunday service at 8.30 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. to celebrate Jesus' triumphant resurrection from the dead. For more information, please visit our website at www.stjosephsmcdonough.org.